All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol ZOM, Zoomedica Corp. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all the first time viewers and investors. Welcome to the channel, Invest for Tomorrow. To all the subscribers, welcome back. And as we dive into this chart, I do want every single investor and viewer to stay tuned to the end because the ticker symbol I'm going to talk about is one you definitely don't want to miss and you definitely want to have it on your watch list. In the last two weeks, I've talked about it twice and it's already gone up almost 2x since the first time we mentioned it here in the channel and it's already almost 9x in the last coming months to this point so i have a question for all the subscribers and viewers that have seen it in the last two videos how you guys feel about it and for every single first time viewer and investor coming across this ticker symbol i would like to see your guys' thoughts on the chart and what you think about this company moving forward so I look forward to your guys' responses down below. Stay tuned for more information. So here we are. Zoomedica Corp. It dropped. It went ahead and did an offering. And it almost reached the offering price. But it didn't get close enough. On some platforms, I've seen it hit almost $198. Somewhere around $2. Here it's showing a low here of about $208, $207. Which we're going to look at that in just a moment. Now... The stock fell and it's starting to work its way back up and it's gone up a few cents. So right now, what we really want to look for here with Zoomedica is that it consolidates. Instead of going too crazy up or too crazy down, that it just consolidates within this area. Some of you may agree with me. Some of you may disagree with me. But I think consolidating within this area and holding itself up before running anywhere higher in a wild manner or even going downwards in a sharp downward trend it's going to be very healthy for this to kind of stay in this channel leading up to the anticipation right of the true form of medical device and launch in march and all the great stuff coming into the next month because this is a pretty wild run for zoomedica a whole month before it's even the time of launching true forma which is one of the biggest catalysts right now for this ticker symbol moving forward. I've talked about it in all my previous videos. We've been talking about it consistently, but it's because I want to emphasize it. I think that's one of the biggest things right now going for this stock. So here we are with Zoomedica kind of going sideways, bringing itself back up. And the offering is to end soon, right? I believe it's supposed to end tomorrow. If anybody wants to correct me on that, I believe it's the 10th. I'm not sure uh, right now. I, it said it in the article and I, I should have read it before doing this video. But I read it yesterday. So I, I don't remember just right now. But it, it should be tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken. Now, Zoomatica Corp is bringing itself back up. A lot of people want to know, could it break through this point up here, 291? Well... With the momentum that it's already built, and investors see this stay itself, like I said, in a consolidated period, they're going to be motivated and attracted to this stock because they've already seen the growth. Now, a lot of news and articles are going out, right, about Zoomedica Corp, how their potential is there, and why it's running, and what's to come in the near future for the company, which could then start to produce revenue, then can also start to produce net income and profit, which in turn is going to give the stock an opportunity to grow. And if the stock grows, the company's growing. So there's a lot of room here. And if it consolidates, it could possibly get back to these numbers or even get beyond these numbers. I know a lot of people want to see $3 and they're saying if $3 gets broken through, we could see four or five. So I want to ask you guys as the investors and viewers, do you see this hitting that $5 mark and breaking $3 before getting there? Or do you think it's just going to run up through them like it did here from about a dollar and some change and it almost reached $3? It almost broke through $2 and $3 within just a few days. So I look forward to seeing your guys' thoughts on the next upward movement of Zoomedica. So let's go ahead and see here what's going on with the support. The 50-day moving average is 232. It's currently at 234. This is a very close one. We're in tug-of-war zone. But our support level here, the lowest point reached after this offering today was 208. I talked about looking at this point here, 207, 
and also down here at 174. So very interesting enough, it didn't get much further and it bounced back beyond that point. Now I saw in other platforms go a little bit below this, but give or take it was off by a few cents. But based off of here on my chart, it's showing 207. I thought that was a very important point to look at and 208 is the lowest that it reached. So this support level, we need to keep it in mind the next coming weeks and days. Now, in the very near term to kind of narrow this down to the T, honestly, this is a very close one and I, that's why I don't really want to use it, but I want every single investor to be aware of it. 229, that's just a few cents below the current stock price. 229 gets broken through, then you got to look at how it reacts between that point and 208. And if you want to use a midway point here, 213, but that's dissecting the chart way too much. So 208 right now is the most significant since it's the lowest point reached. As long as it stays above that, it can look pretty healthy for the stock overall. But 229 is the closest one right now based off of the last couple hours of the day. Now, our resistance level. This is the highest point reached after the volatility of working its way up and hitting this high here of 260. Way too volatile, but that is a number to keep in mind moving forward if this breaks through 243. But based off the chart and the less volatile bars right here, right? Bars that we see these candles. This is the most important one within the last couple of hours. And it was the peak before coming down and leveling off. So 243, if that gets broken through and turned into a support, the bulls are on their way to pull further away from the 50 day moving average and work their way up to newer highs and new resistance levels. So I want to emphasize the bulls need to break through 243 to reach newer highs, maintain leverage in bullish territory and work their way up to new resistance levels. As always, if you found this video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community and don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video. Stay tuned to the end because the ticker symbol I'm about to share with you guys is definitely one you want to have on your watch list and I have a few questions for first time viewers and subscribers and I want to see your guys' sentiment and how you guys feel about the chart. I look forward to seeing your guys' responses and stay tuned. So for everyone that has stayed to this point in the video, the ticker symbol I'm about to share with you guys is a reiteration of the previous stock graphs and also where the stock was and where it's at now. So I think this is the second time I talk about this one in less than a month. And I really want every single investor and viewer to be aware of this one, especially the new coming investors and subscribers. I don't want you guys to miss this one. And for every single subscriber that missed it in the previous videos, if you're having the chance to watch it now, I really want you guys to be aware of this company and do your due diligence and do your research and further digging to understand this ticker symbol and the potential moving forward. So the ticker symbol is CLNE, right? So let's go ahead and pick it up here. Let's see if it pops up. Clean Energy Fuels Corporation. Now, in less than a month, it has actually risen, right, from about $10 all the way up to highs here of almost $19. That's almost 100% gain. But let's just go ahead and say it from $10, right? Forget about the $10.45. We talked about it before that. We talked about it right here at $10.998. So $10 to $18.70, that's 87% gain, okay? And there's so much more room still for this stock. This stock has been growing exponentially over time i know that when you look at it you're like oh well there's going to be a point where this is going to drop well we went through one of the massive drops right here after it took off where i was talking about it this was the first time i went ahead and mentioned it january 22nd and i said okay we might see it cool off and go a little bit lower we want to look for some consolidation and then it can start to hit newer highs well it took off after that soon after and it hit 12 came back down to 10 and a lot of investors already saw 12 and they said, okay, 12 is possible. So now we need to get to 12 and we need a break through 12. Well, that certainly happened. It brought itself right back up slightly above it, brought itself back down to 12 and now it took off to 18. So the question is, could this 
go ahead and consolidate up here. Could we see this pull back somewhere in the middle of this? That's totally possible and healthy for the way the chart has been acting to this point. I want every single investor to be aware of all these consolidation periods and runs up. These are very healthy signs of a growing stock. Okay, so it's clearly showing that now you have to do your due diligence and research because now we're talking about it again at its highest point. We've talked about it at one of its highest points here when it was at 10 and it had recently hit 12, 11 and some change. So it was still showing signs that there could be some room and analysis ratings were also looking pretty good. So now we've hit new highs. So analysis ratings need to be reiterated and upgraded. And then we also need to see for consolidation or a pullback, but obviously not coming back down to 12 somewhere in the middle. And if it does come back to 12, may it consolidate in 12 and then from there on out hit newer highs and new resistance levels for this stock to continue this exponential growth. But the potential here going into the year and the coming years is phenomenal. And there's so much room here for this to continue. But from January 22nd till now, 87% growth is pretty phenomenal and interesting to me. So I wanted to go ahead and ask those of you that have found out about this since the first time I talked about it to this point, how have you felt about the graph? Did you add this to your watch list? Have you kept it on your radar? Did you add it to your watch list, but disregarded it? All right. I want to ask these questions to you guys, all the viewers coming across this for the first time, I would encourage you to go ahead and do your due diligence and research. And just by looking at the graph, how does it make you feel? Do you see that this can continue to run? Do you see a pullback and consolidation? But the way it's been acting, do you think that this can repeat itself? Right? But onto newer highs, like beyond this. So like if we were able to copy and paste this, but starting off at 18, can you see this type of distance and growth getting attached here beyond the next coming months and also year. So I wanted to ask that question to you guys, because that's what you really need to think about when you look at a graph, right? What is it acting like before? And could it repeat that same process moving forward to newer highs and new resistance levels? Obviously the, the volatility of the stock market is always going to exist. There's been up and downs throughout this whole process, but if it can continue doing that behavior, there's room here for this to continue to probably 2x from where it is now because we've almost 2x from where we talked about it in just weeks and it's actually gone ahead in 9x right almost 10x from way down here these lows in november so very interesting stuff i wanted to ask that to all you guys that are watching every single investor and viewer and as always thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money